queen, oh my queen, please guide me through the dens of deception and torment where the unresting souls of- You've got mail! Huh? Oh. Jeffrey Epstein's client list just dropped? Oh, I know that son of a bitch Link Horror is going to be on the... Stephen Hawkins. Does he have a go-go gadget cock? This is one of them. Kepler and Galileo, Newton. Yeah. We got one right here. It's fantastic. Amazing. And you? The viewer? I, I can't believe this. You were the governor of New Mexico? You visited Epstein's Island? Shit, Negro, that's all you had to say. I got just a game for you. Hold right there. Persona 5 Royale. The main selling point of this game is the ability and skills that are linked to interacting with specific characters. And my favourite ability is the fuck ability. You can unlock it for all the female characters. Now this is what lands this game at the VIP section of the Little Black Book. The main character and most of the female characters are high schoolers. Like I am a grown ass man who pays taxes, allegedly. I am also cripplingly lonely. Why the fuck am I trying to get a high schooler underage pussy? There is even more of a Jimmy Savile moment with three characters specifically because they are grown ass adults fucking a high schooler. And one is even his teacher. And the cat maid. I'm gonna kill him. Now this right here is one of the three games I have ever a hundred percented. So I say this with love, respect, respect, and an immense hatred of Hassan Piker. You know that Hassan Piker? I'm gonna kill you! Never before have I seen a game with such a shitty story and absolute abortion of a main cast be this hard carried by the gameplay, visuals, and music. But 9-11 was a national tragedy. The story... Why the fuck are you asking me about the story? It's a JRPG. You're a high school student, you kill God. There's a DLC where a guy becomes a new God, and you kill him. Kinda. But that's not the point. The story is just kinda bland and drawn out. But it has its moments, like when Morgana leaves and I don't have to listen to him. The main issue is encapsulated with the tropey, inoffensive, safe and bland characters, like this retard with the huge forehead and George Washington haircut. What is her character? She's nice. That's it. I don't think she even has a hundred lines of dialogue in this a hundred hour game. She joins you after you tell her you want to mind break her father. Then from her perspective, you brutally murder him on live TV that you were adamant she needed to tune in for. This is the type of shit that would make Isis disassociate from you. Hamas has better optics than this. So what does she do? Nothing. She fully believes you didn't do it, despite the only reasonable conclusion being you did it, because you kind of did. She then finds the guy who did it, and just forgives him. He doesn't do anything, he doesn't change at all. She just forgives him for brutally executing her father on live TV. I hate you so fucking much. However, it isn't all bad. They have a goth mommy doctor, and a gamer girl, who 100% provably says gamer words. This is a canon event. The game is timed and the date is constantly shown in the top left corner. Now there is a single section of the game where you get on a plane. Can you guess the date it takes place on? I think Japan may be harbouring some resentment. So all things considered, I would rate the game an 8 out of 10. However, the DLC has actually good characters and a great story with a villain who has an actual fucking motive, something so rare he is officially the GOAT by default. Now this would bump it to a 9, however, the game is a 10. Why? 
the gamer girl is also your sister and if you ever get tired of grooming your underage sister you can always fish with the boys in the later series of to catch a predator fish predator fish why do i hear sirens your honor i am an innocent man she said she was 14 <laughs> Go to Albania 